We pull one out on the Guggen Squad DIY homemade chatterbait. Oh my gosh. Finally! They just moved here from California, guys. It's Garrett's first Texas bass. But this video could be priceless. <laughs> <laughs> What's good? Photo bomb. <laughs> By the way, this is Bryce's idea. Photo bomb. Oh, really? Bryce, Bryce is the one that came up with putting the blades on these uh, Guggen Squad baits. It's an old secret. It's an old secret, he says. Here this man's right. a genius. All right, guys, so let me show you what we're actually working with here today. I went ahead and from Dick's Sporting Goods and Field and Stream picked up these blades to toss on the front of our Grass Hero Swim Jigs by Guggen Squad. Uh, and it has been working out flawlessly. First fish was a two and a half pounder. It's literally a chatterbait, a bladed jig. We're having a ton of fun out here. I'm gonna try something different, switch up the color, and show you guys exactly how to uh, put this thing together. So basically all you need is some pliers. I'm gonna take a blade out of here, open up our Grass Hero, and we'll have this thing in the water in probably the next five minutes. Guggen Squad chatterbaits, man. We have our Grass Hero. We've got our blade. Now this thing, you kinda gotta work open with the pliers. Spin that out. So I'm just feeding the Grass Hero onto this little barb there. Once I have the Grass Hero hooked up, which she now is, and there was two options at the store. There was these darker, almost gunmetal ones, which is what I wanted for today. And they also had some lighter silver flash ones. And there was also some smaller size blades. Uh, I just kind of grabbed the first thing I saw that I thought could work across multiple different colors. Uh, those silver ones or the little bit brighter blades might have been better for the shad coloration here. But that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and now grab these pliers again. And you just pinch this. I'm going to cinch this piece of metal back down to lock this in place and we can start fishing this bladed jig now. I don't want to lose any fish here, so I don't want any of this stuff coming loose. I'm really cranking this down, and I'm gonna get this one and cinch it down a little bit as well on the other side. Now, our Guggen Squad Grass Hero is locked in for the trailer. Let's toss on one of the 3.3 inch Guggen Baits Saucy Swimmers. This is just a little paddle tail. Uh, we're mixing it up. Our first catch today was on a craw trailer. This is gonna imitate more of that shad or that fish swimming in the water. We're gonna see if uh, maybe they're in the mood for something else as time has passed. This only takes you a few minutes and then you have your brand new DIY Guggen Squad chatterbait. Life is good. I don't think it gets any better than this right here. That is what I am talking about. And now we have a bit of a, a weed guard or a brush guard here. I was considering taking a razor blade and just chopping that off. Uh, since it's typical with chatterbaits to not have a guard and so you know you could either leave this guard or you could take it off It's up to you. I don't think you'll be getting caught in too much grass This is essentially no longer going to be used as a swim jig and being pushed down into the grass and popping out of it So this isn't going to be as necessary instead the chatterbait is going to stay closer to the surface You can work it over the grass and other uh, Structure and so this guard is not necessarily as needed that hook is going to stay straight up And you're going to have that chatter going and I think we're going to get some hits guys Let's get this thing in the water super psyched guys we are about to get things started with this homemade Guggen Squad chatterbait this is crazy right here we got the swim jig uh, have a natural crack and crawl and look at that blade right there $6.99 over at Dick's Sporting Goods and Field and Stream shop I don't even know if this thing's gonna swim and honestly I could care less I think I'm still gonna get a fish on it I'm just going all out today and I have made it to the pond before Bryce I think Garrett might be showing up as well might be a full house we're definitely not going to stay at the pond i'm at because this place is like extra private um will she swim this is the question i can I, you, you think i can get 10 or 15 minutes here try and catch a little something yes sir sounds good to me my pleasure well i'll tell you what we got more ponds right around the corner golf course stuff make it easy on us all right well that didn't take but two seconds the thing is Although we got kicked out, I found out she swims, baby. I felt the vibration through the rod tip. We are super stoked. I'm gonna hit this next pond. Bryce, Garrett, they're showing up, and I think it is gonna be a slave fest with this baby right here. This pond that we're hitting, I hit last week. It is kind of like a grass flat as far as you can cast. I think this is gonna be just, it's gonna be perfect. I figured I could get a few casts in. I'm sure the fish would hit at that spot. I bet that thing never gets fished. Actually, the guy kind of made it sound like people try and fish off this spot all the time, so who's to say? The other pond is literally right next door, so we'll be there in a second. All right, guys, second spot. Here we go. Guggen Squad Chatterbait, man. This is, uh, this has got me very excited. This blade flashes, too. This is perfect. Wow. All we can hope for today is a moving bite. This is insane. Oh. 
where's them fishies oh my gosh that was grass it felt so enticing what's going on man, how you doing yeah good what's to see you dude this is the spinner bait if you want to try it you could even just throw it on this setup get here we pull one out on the Guggen squad DIY homemade chatterbait oh my gosh and this is like a two and a half look at this thing look we got the scale right here get this junk out of my way let's put this thing on the scale homies over here are like what are they throwing hey this is the pre-release Guggen squad bait baby you can't get on this she's almost two and three quarters y'all two six four is what it's reading give me a sign, yeah. sick I'm pumped this just makes my day let's go he wanted back in the water bad. All right, and I want to catch another one bad, and I want these guys to catch some fish, so let's get those chatterbaits back in the water. Yes! I got more chatterbaits if you want to tie one on. I have one rigged up and ready that's white. I have one rigged up and ready that's like a semi-blue. You know I have naturals. I just bought them. Yeah, here we go. And then I have a craw on the back of it. I tie the Palomar knot. Like, even when I first started tying this thing, it would take me freaking 10 minutes to tie it, and you have to redo it five times, and it still happens every once in a while, but you just pretty much get used to one knot and tie it all the time, right? So, I mean, I'm, yeah, I don't even know if I've heard of it. I'm, you know, believe it or not, kind of like newer to fishing compared to most people, and have just once you get set in your ways, I learned that the Palomar knot was a good one, and I've just stuck with it, so I really don't know. Yeah, you know, I think this one has bigs. I don't think it gets fished a whole lot. Going for round two, guys. This is the cast after the catch. Man! Sight. At the same time, I had quite a few hits here last time just fishing on. Oh, he swung for it! <gasps> Did you see that? I, I went like that and took it right. I, fuck! That was a big old belly flash. Where'd he go? I wonder if he chased it in or if he's like. Seems like they're hanging out just at 10 feet out or something. Instead of. Like, I haven't gotten any hits out deep yet. I pulled it. Like I was coming through grass and he just missed it because of that. Literally just sped it up right before he went to bite it. Got to be joking. Well, to be honest, I'm pretty oblivious when it comes to all the different types of grass. I'm kind of ignorant to all that. So I don't know, but it, I call this the bad grass. <laughs> You'll catch one today. You'll catch one today. No, for sure. Keep rocking that chatterbait. He's got one! His first Texas bass, baby! His first Texas bass! It's big! It's big! That's bigger than mine, dude! <laughs> Finally! Yes, sir! How long y'all been here? A month. They just moved here from California, guys. It's Garrett's first Texas bass. And it's sir. a good one! You wanna weigh him? See what, yes, see what for sure, with? man. Let's do it! Okay, it's zeroed out, so just boom. How we looking? 2.915. 2.95! Dude, that's a three pounder right there. Yeah, Hold on. Go. Where's that close up? Yo. Yeah. Three pounder. Yeah. And look, he's he's kind of he's kind of skinny. Oh yeah. I'm telling you what, look if that, that thing was plumped up. Dudes. All right. Chatterbait for the win, man. Yo. Oh, oh my god. Dude, that man. feels good. I bet. Yeah. The bite's on. We're all throwing chatterbaits, crawl trailers. And uh, there's a couple kids fishing this dock over here, and they're wondering what we're throwing. I can tell. They keep looking over. We ain't sharing the juice, except for to all however many thousands of y'all watch this video. So, <laughs> chatter baits at this pond. Let's go. So I was just I tossed it out there. You know, it's up and a little bit. About that speed. About that speed. Rocking and rolling. Oh you yeah, can it's, tell it's pretty bad. The man. grass is pretty bad. We've been picking up some grass, man. So uh, we're just trying to work it above that stuff. We've only gotten caked up a couple times. Things are looking good. If you feel that blade stop working, give it a nice like pull with the rod. If you don't feel that action in the rod tip, you don't feel the blade working, then you picked up some grass. So kind of give it a whip and you'll, and you'll whip it out of there a lot of times. You'll start to feel it working again so it doesn't mess up that whole retrieve. I'm gonna go to the right just a little bit more for a second. It seems like this is the prime zone, but we caught a two and a half and a three. Dude, it hit. I'm so stoked. Like it swims good. Just these cheap blades, dude, right from the field and stream. Bryce, Garrett. Man, this is my buddy Bryce. Let's go. Let's try this. Guys, we're gonna hit this pond. 
one down here. It looks extra dope. A lot of gold. Alright guys, so typically I'm throwing my chatter baits on fluorocarbon line, but I just have a second caster set up right here, and I've got 30 pound braid. I don't even have a leader tied onto it, which would mean like a leader knot with some fluorocarbon on the end of it. And today I'm not going to let that get in the way of our fishing excursion. I don't have too much time left, so what I'm going to do is rig this up straight braid. I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue today because the clarity is not the best today after these recent rainstorms we've been getting the water is kind of chalked up i don't think the fish are going to be seeing this line and as worried about it as maybe in some crystal clear water so uh, we're just going to roll with it oh it tells you when somebody buys it uh yeah because i actually i i earn a little bit every time someone buys it when you set up those amazon links you become what's called an amazon affiliate and uh yeah you can you make a percentage of every sale and what's really cool is that you'll actually make the three to six percent based on what product people are buying okay. um you'll make that even if they buy something else almost everything that people are buying through my links is like not fishing stuff it seems like but if they click on the link and they buy anything on amazon within the next 24 hours you get that three to six percent commission for leading them to the you know to amazon and getting that sale all right guys first cast Ooh, and we're getting some distance on the slx with the 30 pound braid and this thing is thumping boys I would not be surprised if this shad chatterbait is the deal. Get going. All right, quick recap back at the house, guys. Thank you so much for joining in on today's video where we are fishing our DIY chatterbaits. You'll see in the thumbnail there was no uh, weed guard on this swim jig, and that's because I cut it off for the thumbnail specifically. So now it looks just like a regular old fashioned chatterbait, and we are going to do a lot of fishing with this guy right here. This guy right here, we have a third blade. I might go black and blue, and we're gonna have a bunch of fun with these in the next few videos, you guys. Stay tuned for those. Till then, peace out. <gasps>